up. I guess the first one, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. You think you were going to hit with a technical when you went down? I'm surprised I didn't. <laughs> Actually shocked I didn't. Well, they started out pretty strong, but then you guys had an 18-1 run. What, what was the difference? We, we had three freshmen in the game, and I thought they were terrific. I thought they, they came in. I My message to them before the game was we have to play with energy. Somehow we got to find a way to play with energy because we're not very good if we don't play with that, with energy. And I thought those freshmen came in and really gave us a bunch of energy. Press was better. They made shots at the rim. They got the crowd involved. I thought they were, I thought they were really the, the key to getting, uh, getting the lead at halftime. Coach, can you just talk about Lamont? I mean, having a shoot performance like tonight. He did it before against Oklahoma State, but hitting shots like he was tonight. Well, we we watched film for a half an hour today, and then we were on the floor for maybe an hour, and then Lamont was probably out there for another hour and a half. And I walked in two hours before the game, and he was one of three guys down there shooting the ball then. So, you know, I that just goes to my theory that if you're in the gym and you work at it, you know, Billy says it's the basketball gods. You know, if you cheat the game in the basketball gods, that, that catches up to you. And he's in the gym all the time. When you knew Issa wasn't going to play, did you know Lamont was going to eat those minutes up? Or was that just kind of... Of course. Um, I mean, he, he, uh, he subs for Issa anyways. You know, it's just between Issa and Nate, which, whichever one we think. He did a good job. I mean, we had him out on the perimeter. He was okay defensively. And, and I thought he did a pretty good job on their bigs. Given their size, your decision to go with three guards at the start, is that just, hey, we're going to try to get a different spread them? Mm -mm. No, we were going to heat them up. We were going to try to heat them up and get the game going up and down. And the problem was we did get the game going up and down, but they scored and we didn't. Uh, so I got I to figure out how we can get our guys to drive it in and get fouled because uh, everybody else has figured it out against us. So I, I gotta, we got to do a better job in working with them and in, in, uh, scoring a transition. And um, I, mean, I think we're getting contact. I just I must not be the right kind. So we're, we, we've got to we've got to work with our, you know, we spend a lot of time two on one, three on two, obviously. But I think we need to when we get kind of get ahead of the field. And there's one or two guys back. We need to be able to cross it over and get it at the rim. Bunch where they, you know, play two overtime games and you know, quick turnaround. You lose Issa, uh, you know, slow start. But, you know, still able to, uh, you know, play pretty hard. It didn't look like they were mentally drained or anything. What's you know, what's that? Well, I mean, we put a lot of work in. They put a lot of work in, and and. Uh, I mean, I think it's foolish to be awfully foolish at this time of the year not to come out and play with play with a lot of energy. Um, energy is the key to what we do. I mean, you know, we're not gonna we can we can you know kind of fix a little bit of stuff that we're doing wrong, but I mean, we're not gonna be able to wholesale fix everything. And you know, and then we we threw the one three one out there, and and you know, and it did what we wanted it to do. It slowed them down. Slowed them down. They weren't attacking the rim anymore, and made them pass the ball more. Made them run the clock down more. And but you know we have to spend time on practice and that too. So I, I just you know we didn't do a lot. We 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 watched film and we went through. And I thought we took them out of a lot of stuff that they wanted to do offensively. But you know I mean at this time of the year you've seen about everything. And you should know how to guard everything. Now our freshmen aren't all together, but they don't get as many reps either. But I thought our freshmen were really good. I, I mean, I thought in the first half, uh, Magic and, and, and Sags making plays at the rim, uh, I thought they were really good. Bob, when you've had big leads, can you diagnose what's, what's gone wrong? Have you, have you maybe played too slow and you've been comfortable playing fast? Have you played too fast? Yeah, but we wanted to, Mike. I mean, we're up by 20. Let's just win. Um, I mean, I don't want them to come down and burp it up quick. 
We had shots. We, we just, I don't know, I, I think I, I said on the radio, I think our biggest problem, we got two guys from New York. Um, they just love to dribble, you know, and, and that that doesn't help us any. Uh, we've got to get those guys to do a better job of of straight lining people and, you know, when it's not there, pass it and, and, and let's get some movement. You can't. It's hard to. It's hard when they got two bigs in, in the lane as athletic as those two bigs are to be able to take it in there and attack the rim. I guess what I mean is, was it better tonight because of certain things? I mean, maybe when you look at it, the leads that have gone away, were you not those nights where you were tonight? I mean, yeah, I don't know. I think. <sighs> The way the game's called, you can call foul any time you want to. I mean, let's be honest. You can call it any time you want to. You can call it. You can call it from somebody putting their hand on somebody away from the ball. You can call it on a cut. You can call it on a dribble. You can call it on anything. And uh, you know, it's it, it's it's. You don't want. You don't want. I'm. I've been very. Um, I've emphasized a lot that we don't want to let people score with the clock stopped. When you know we're up to twenty, why you want to let them score with the clock stopped? I mean, if they if they get a basket, that's two. Then you stop. But if you but the clock's still running. You know, you know what I'm saying? So we're just trying to win, man. Mike seems to play a lot better when his mother's here. She's going to have to start coming a lot more often, yeah. Bob, rate Javon's play the last few games. I, I, I thought he was terrific both games. I thought he was terrific. He, uh, you know, we we ask him to do a lot, and he does a lot. You know, he he and Nate are really are the keys to the press, and and he does a great job in the press. And then we ask him to handle the ball. We ask him to run offense, and then we ask him to score. So he's been terrific. Is it hard to do the scoring when you're asked to do all these other <clears> things as well? I think they kind of want to do that, you know. I mean, honestly, I think they kind of want to do that. And then when he gets on a roll, everybody looks for him. Coach, I'm sorry if you've been asked already, but what was it like at halftime for you to get to get checked? What was that moment like? Uh... I I talked to talked to a couple people, but it wasn't. I mean, I didn't get hooked up to any machines or anything, if that's what you're asking me. <clears throat> anything else? Bob, do you, do you know what happened? I mean, could you tell what happened when it happened or just out of nowhere on you? What's it? It comes out of nowhere. But What is it? Huh? What is it? Well, you know, I guess I guess I got a little lightheaded, which I do when I stand up too fast sometimes. Uh, uh, that's probably, that's a lot of that's old age and... You know, a lot of it is some of the medication I take. That it doesn't, you know, so it's, it's so that all the blood doesn't rush up real fast. And that's what that's what happened when, you know, when I fell down before. It's the, you stand up, you get lightheaded. But um, you know, and then I mean, honestly, then the defibrillator went off. Yeah, I mean, but it's that's 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 not the second time it's gone off, but. Um, it goes off, and it, what it, what it is is it just shocks your heart back into the rhythm. I'm like you know 99.9% .9 of other guys my age in America. I got AFib. I mean, Jerry's got AFib for crying out loud. I mean, you know, he does the commercial. Can I get you on one of those? Huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> Two road games coming up. Just kind of wondering, what's life been like on the on the road with this bunch? I think they've been okay. Um, I mean, I think. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to think. I mean, we've played pretty well on the road. We, you know, you win in Ames. That's that's really a good win. You know, you. Uh, we 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 need to go get a couple more on the road, but um, 
they're they're fine they're you know they like each other you know they really do like each other so they're around each other all the time i you know and i said on the radio there there's very few programs in america that have three guys share one position the way elijah brandon and sags do and pull for each other the way they pull for each other um they're 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 very good about when they get tired saying they're tired and getting the other guy in and we get a we get a lot of production out of that spot where a lot of people didn't think we were going to get any production but we get it by you know three guys but i you know and i i think that's an example of you know i wish i wish sometimes our guards had that same kind of attitude because you know those guys want to get in and dribble you know so and they're not bad and our guards aren't bad i don't mean it that way but but those guys are outstanding i mean uh and 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 what Elijah and Brandon have done to help Sags is is really big.